In this video, we'll be demonstrating how you can use OrgChart to create an organization chart by importing data. This is an example of what our final OrgChart is going to look like. Notice the OrgChart has boxes with photos, names, and titles. The assistant who reports directly to the top person is illustrated using an assistant hanging object. You'll notice that there is a dotted line between these two individuals. This illustrates a reporting relationship, which may be on a project or an auxiliary basis. All primary or functional relationships are illustrated with solid lines to their managers. This is the data that was used to create the chart. With OrgChart, you have the ability to import many different data types, but as you can see here, we'll be importing Excel data. Every record in the dataset needs to have an identifier that we call a key. In this example, column A is going to be our key. It's the unique something that identifies each box. In this case, we're using a name, but you could also use something such as an employer's ID or position ID. The name is critical to identify each person and also who they report to. In this case, it's a field called supervisor. As long as we have a pair of an individual and who they report to, then we can connect the boxes. We also have additional data regarding each person. We have their title, whether they are an assistant or not, and their telephone extension. We also have one individual who has a dotted line reporting relationship to a second manager, William. Our last column shows us the name of the image file associated with each individual. The image files should be situated in the same folder as the spreadsheet so that the program will be easily able to find it. Now, let's show you how easy it is to import the data. We start with a blank chart and then on the Data tab, we select the Import button. This initiates the Import Wizard. After clicking Next, the wizard shows the different data types that OrgChart can read. The most popular data type is Excel, which is why we have chosen to illustrate our example using an Excel spreadsheet. Next, we'll identify the file to import. On the next screen, we can see the records within the file that will be imported. When working with much larger files or different kinds of tables, you could utilize a filter at this point. However, since our example spreadsheet is quite simple, we'll simply go on to the next step. This is where the hierarchy is identified. Since we are using a two-column hierarchy, we will select its radio button and then ensure that the field for each contact's position or name, as well as who they report to, their supervisor, is detailed. On the right, this hierarchy is depicted graphically. Next, we'll identify the dotted line hierarchy by clicking on this button. Using the drop-down buttons, we'll select the employee name as the position and who that person reports to, which in this case is the dotted line manager. Then click OK and OK to confirm the setup. Of course, since having dotted line managers is not a requirement, you can skip the step if dotted line management does not apply to you. Our next step is to identify what fields we want to display within each box in our org chart by selecting the relevant checkbox in the visible column. Here, we'll specify that we want the name, the title with word wrap, which we'll select on the right-hand side, and lastly, their photo. Finally, since some of the boxes could be assistance to other staff members, we'll click on the Manage System Columns button, highlight the field called Is Assistant, and map that to the Is Assistant data field. Of course, like the dotted line management, you can skip this step if your data does not contain any assistance. The last step is to determine the pagination, and in our example here, we're going to click on Do Not Create because we want to see everybody on the same page. Once we click on Next, then Next again, and then Finish, we'll end up with the imported org chart. 
Notice that each box displays with a photo, a title, and the person's name. The assistant style and dotted line relationship are also illustrated according to our setup instructions. Now you can see how easy it is to create an org chart by importing data. Thanks for watching. For more information, contact sales at officeworksoftware.com. Visit our website at www.orgchartpro.com or call us on plus one four one five four six two one three one three.